God magnify his holy name. His word is to be praised. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We appreciate you. Lake as one that he was zonto. As well, Catholic, was zonto. Father, we thank you for this evening's section of the second day of our destiny discovery and recovery program. Lord, we worship you. As the Catholic, as zonto. Abba, Father, we thank you for what you did yesterday. Father, we magnify only now for what you are going to do today. As the Catholic, as the river zonto. Le Quatali Catoli Bozonto, Aswaga Tali Catoli Cazanta, Malia Catali Catoli Bozonto, Ze Quatali Catoli Bozonto. Thank you, Abba Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Hebrew 4 16, where we come boldly to the throne of grace, begin to ask for mercy. Pray and say, Father, I'm in your presence for this program. Father, show me your mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, remove every disqualification over my destiny, over my glory. Father, show me mercy, Lord. Let your mercy speak for me. Your mercy that cover every error, color every effort. Father, let your mercy speak for me this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, let Quateli Kazanto, that my deliverance shall be total this evening. Ezekateli Kazandori Bozanto, La Quateli Kazandori Bozanto. Thank you, Abba Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Over there, 117 upon Mosiah, there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Pray and say, Father, we want your presence like never before. Come and do unusual in our midst this evening. In the name of Jesus Christ. Le Quateli Kazandori Bozanto. Ezekateli Katoli Bozanto. Trinity, we welcome you, Abba Father. We welcome you, La Quateli Bozanto. Ezekateli Katoli Bozanto. La Quateli Bozanto. More of you in this program. More of you in all that we do. Ze Quateli Kazanta. Have your right of way, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. I appreciate the name of God. Exalt his holy name for your answer prayer. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. We exalt you. We magnify your name. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Accept our thanksgiving. We declare this evening service open. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor. Thank you, Lord. Glorious God, wonderful King, miracle worker, Prince of Peace, omnipotent God. I worship you, your majesty is forevermore, glorious God, wonderful King, me Oh, oh, oh. 
Celebrate Jesus. Can you give him all the glory? Can you give him all the honor? Can you give him all the praises? He deserves our praise. Lift your voice unto God and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are welcome to Destiny Discovery and Recovery Conference. God bless you tonight in the name of Jesus. It's time for our intercessive prayer. I take the first prayer from 2 Corinthians. Chapter 3, verse 18. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image, from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. We tell louder for can we say, Father, Father, send us your life-transforming world at the Destiny, Discovery, and Recovery Conference 2024. Open up new chapter to the lives of all participants and attendees in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto heaven tonight and make it the man on heaven that sent us your life transforming world at the Discovery and Recovery Conference of year 2024. Lord, we ask that you open up new chapters to the life of all attendees and participants in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto God. Lord, we have and we made the man that you send us your life transforming world tonight. Lord, we have that you send your, us your life transforming world at this Destiny Discovery and Recovery Conference. Open up new chapters to the life of all attendees, all participants in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto God. Lift your voice unto God. It's time for prayer. Can we all be in prayer mood? Lift your voice unto heaven. Send me. You can particular to yourself. Father, send me your life transforming world at this discovery and recovery conference. Open up new chapter in my life in the name of Jesus. Word of life transforming world. What to heal, what to deliver, what to rescue, word of restoration, word of signs and wonders, word of new chapter, word of new era. Father, we may demand that you send us your life transforming world at Discovery and Recovery Conference of year 2024. Father, we make the man that you open up new chapters to the life of all participants and attendees in this conference in the name of Jesus. What to deliver tonight? What to set free tonight? What of changing life? In the mighty name of Jesus, Eladoshata, word of salvation tonight, word of sanctification tonight, Eladoshata, Elia Rando Zili Kadosha, Elia Gadash, open up new chapter to life of all participants and attendee in the discovery and recovery conference. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 36. From error which is by the brink of the rivers of Ammon, 
and from the city that is by the river, even unto Gilead, there was not one city too strong for us. The Lord our God deliver all unto us. God will deliver all your testimony and miracle to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, through the destiny, discovery, and recovery conference 2024, launch this church into higher realms of global empire and territory taking auction in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto God and pray for your church, God City International Church. Father, through this conference, Discovery and Recovery Conference, launch God City International Church into higher realms of global empire and territory taking auction in the name of Jesus, my Father. Through the Discovery and Recovery Conference 2024, launch your church, God City International Church, into higher realms of global impact and territory taking auction. In the mighty name of Jesus, new chapter, Ella Tosha, open up territory unto your church in the name of Jesus. Hayatoshata, Elia Gadosha, global impact unto your church, God City, international church, in the name of Jesus. Ella Dagadash, Ella Gadosha, Talia Bradosa, Ella Ketosha, Talia, Ella Doshetala. Father, we make the man that do this, this coffee and recovery conference launch your church into higher realms of global impact and territory taking auction in the mighty name of Jesus. Territory taking auction in the name of Jesus. Hayatoshata, her brother Gadosia, a lake to Shata, her ratagadash, a latagadash, a lagadash, global impact onto your church in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. A better amen. We are still praying. Isaiah chapter 49, 26 to 24. Isaiah 49, 26 to 24. So the prayer be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered. But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all the flesh shall know that I, the Lord, I am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say, my father, my father. I can't hear your voice. Say, my father, my father. We decree that no contrary situation in the lives of all participants shall escape your divine judgment at the Destiny Discovery and Recovery Conference 2024. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, we decree that no contrary situation in the lives of all participants and attendees of tonight's program shall escape your divine judgment in today's Destiny Discovery and Recovery Conference 2024. In the mighty name of Jesus, Eleke poso copaladasa, a brigadosa malante stacahiga, a pacosi diata, a brigadosia balata, a la quaca santalia barada, Zacapalaga de Bilabadi, Elia Casanta de Abregadaria, there shall be divine judgment over every situation, contrary situation against everyone that will be coming here today, that will be coming here tomorrow in all our services this week in the name of Jesus, Mashaka Palada, a precatoriada, a raca palada, a yacapalagada. El Rua Santalia, El Paco Satalia, El La Caposada, El Paco Satilia. No causes, no cause, no cause. We escaped it. No sickness, we escape it. No hour of the wicked, we escape it. Divine judgment. Today, today, today. In the name of Jesus, Marcosia Calata, El Prigadosia Barada, Jacapala Gadabarada, El Riaba Santalia, El Riaba Santolia, El Yacapala Barada. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Psalm 91, verse 11. Psalm 91, verse 11. For he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee all thy ways. Somebody say amen. My father, my father. My father, my father. 
Give your angels charge. Give your angels charge over the movements of all participants all through destiny, discovery, and recovery conference 2024 against all form of mishap and attack of the enemies in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, give your angels charge over movement of all participants all through destiny discovery and recovery conference 2024 against all form of mishap and attack of the enemies in the name of jesus we decree preservation and protection over everyone we decree preservation and protection over everyone nothing missing nothing broken nothing lacking in the name of jesus Mashaka Palada, a Peco Santolia, a Brigado Sacala, a Lagoba Sandalia Blecadaria, a Yagada Balagadi da Balagada, a Riaba Sandolia Blecadaria, a Yagada Badibida Balibida, a Lecapo Santolia Blagadaria, a Yagada Balabaride, a Riaba Sandolia Blicatoria, by the ministry of the angels. No one, no one will be involved in any mishap or attack of the wicked to and fro movement of people. Katosa, a Pereta, a Catuaride, a Paco Satuya, a Pecatoria Baranda, a Santolia Brecateria, Zaka Palado, a Prigadosia Balata. Begin to thank him for answer prayer. Wave your honor to him. Wave your hand to him. Celebrate your answer. Celebrate your div the divine visitation you are about to receive today. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. To the powerful amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Jam your hands together and please take your seat. We know you have testimony. God has visited you in one way or the other, especially yesterday. And that minister to some people, especially those people that are with high blood pressure. We know God has touched you. It has crashed down to normal. The ministers are waiting for you at the testimony stand. They want to take your testimony so that it will be permanent and you will get more. Jam your hands together as you welcome this beautiful choir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody happy to be in God's presence. Why not jam your hands and celebrate this Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, 
Bye. 
you. Another one, no day. Father, we bless you. We lift up your name. We give you all the glory. This kind God, another one, no day. To you alone be all the praise. Accept our worship in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Give Jesus a shout of victory. Hallelujah. On behalf of the senior pastor and all the pastors and ministers of God City International Church, we welcome you to day two of our Purpose Discovery and Recovery Conference evening section. Can you give Jesus a big clap offering? Hallelujah. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Today is Tuesday, 26th of um, March, 2024. It's time for Power Touch Daily Devotional, Divine Appointment. Tonight is the night of somebody's divine appointment. If you are the one, you say louder, amen. John chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. John 5, 7 and 8. The important man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. The word of wisdom for today says, When you have appointment with the king of glory, then you escape affliction that has arrested others. Every affliction that has arrested others in your family, it will not affect you in the name of Jesus. Say louder, amen. For the level and condition of mortal man to change, there must be an appointment with God. Like tonight now is our appointment with God. When there is an appointment between divinity and humanity, the story can no longer be the same. The story of your life will no longer be the same tonight in the name of Jesus. When there is divine appointment, what do you see? Long-time problems, afflictions, and challenges will be terminated. John chapter 5, verse 6. John 5 and 6. When Jesus saw him lie, he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He said unto him, Without be made whole, you will receive divine help that will help you to solve issues that are bigger than you, even today in the name of Jesus. When there is divine appointment, what do you see? Number two. You will be single out of the crowd for miracle. The Lord will single you out tonight for miracles in the name of Jesus. Say a lot of amen. It does, it does not matter how congested or how difficult the crowd and situation may be. When it is your day, you will be singled out. Tonight is your night. Today is your day in the name of Jesus. When there's divine appointment, number three, there will be change of story and change of identity. John chapter 5, verse 14b. John 5 and 14b. Afterward, Jesus finded him in the temple and said unto him, When there's a change of identity, your company, your friends, your location will change for good. And then the Lord will take you from where you are. He will take you to where you're supposed to be. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. When there's divine appointment, what do you see? Protocols will be broken and suspended for your sake. The Lord will do strange things for you. That will deliver your miracles unto you today in the name of Jesus. Rules, regulations, laws, protocols, they will be suspended for your sake in the name of Jesus. Say a louder amen. What do we do? Our assignment says, be on the lookout for your divine appointment. And then engage in prayer. Engage in fasting. Tonight is your night of divine appointment. Is tonight your night of divine appointment? Jump up on your feet and say, Father, I thank you for the revelation knowledge of your word. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, by my encounter of today, Counter, say counter the agenda of the devil in my life today in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, by the power of divine appointment, delete every negative story of my life and let positive stories start today in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I make a demand that every affliction, every challenge that walk up with me today, 
shall be terminated. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, touch me and single me out for a standing miracle tonight. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, let all our newcomers and our new converts have an encounter with you. Thereby, they will receive solution to their problems. Even tonight, in the name of Jesus, say, Father, that encounter that will bring me out from wrong company in life and destiny shall take place today. Say, Father, please break protocols, break rules and regulations for me and let my testimony match today. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, deliver all our marriageable singles from the grip of spirit and rejection. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, we make a demand that you scatter. Say, scatter, scatter, scatter every conspiracy against the progress and growth of your church, God's city, international church. In the name of Jesus, fire it in the Holy Ghost. Tonight is your night of divine appointment. Tonight is my night of divine appointment. Tonight is my night of divine appointment. I will not go back home the same. Ma kosekete bosh. Iye gede gede gede. Ma yadoshe gede. Shagada gadosha. Tonight is my night of divine appointment. Tonight is my night of amazing testimony. Sheketo yado. Ayagadosha. My glory will speak. My glory will speak. My glory will speak. It's my night. It's my time. It's my season of a new era, new dawn. My glory must speak in the name of Jesus Christ. It's my time of purpose, discovery, and recovery in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight is my night. Today is my day of divine appointment. Today is my day of divine appointment. Tonight is my night of divine appointment. Thank you, Father. To you alone be all the praise. To you alone be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Every evil covenant of hardship, stagnation, delay, empty handedness in your life. It is over today. It is broken today. It is broken today. Today is your day of divine appointment. You will not go back home the same in the name of Jesus. Once again, we decree preservation of lives and properties. Nothing missing, nothing broken, and nothing lacking. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. To you alone be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Three powerful, fireful, amen. Amen. Amen and hey. Clap for Jesus and please take your seat. Lift up your hands and worship him this evening. Give him all the praise, give him all the honor. If you don't help me, where else can I go?
his holy name tonight let's give him all the praise let's give him all the honor let's give him all the adoration ever faithful ever sure you can do that in understanding and in the spirit you can do that in understanding and in the spirit let's go ahead and worship him let's glorify him ever faithful ever sure father we worship him Mashata Lada Baruza, Eleva Ruzidia, Eshalagadagadosha. We worship you, Lord. We glorify you. We honor you. We adore you. Lift your hands and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Give him all the praise for all he has done for you. For all he's doing for you. For all he will yet do for you. Are you praising him? Are you giving him praise? Bless his holy name. Exalt him. Glorify him. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be magnified. He's worthy to be glorified. Oh, we worship him. Blessed be your holy name. We give you all the praise. We honor you. Go ahead and bless his holy name. We praise you, Jesus. We honor you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, you are so Almighty God, hallowed be your name, your domain is Lift your hands to Jesus, Adonai. We worship him, Son of God, you are so good, you're so good to us, Almighty God, hallowed be your name. Lift 
you are holy because you are pure because you are righteous thank you for the heaviness of your presence oh thank you Lord blessed be your holy name please take your seat blessed be your holy name thank you Lord if you have pain anywhere in your body, stand to your feet right now. Pain anywhere, sickness anywhere, you can stand right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Pain anywhere, sickness anywhere, on ground online, stand to your feet right now. Weakness of the body, Tiredness, unnecessary tiredness, coughing blood, spitting blood, any kind of pain. Then all the ulcer patient that you came with the symptom of ulcer, stand to your feet right now. They say you have ulcer, you've been having symptom, you've been having affliction, stand to your feet right now. Kneecap affliction, any pain whatsoever. What a friend we are in. Oh, I cease and grieve to Thank you, Jesus. Everything, including your sickness and your pain. Amen. Yeah. 
and what a friend we have in Jesus. Everybody lift your hands to me. Reach out. The friend we have in showed me I saw Jesus standing and stretching hands to collect your pains to collect your griefs to collect your sorrow to collect the affliction You know, this is the week of his passion. Crucified this week. He, 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 he's collecting it. So this is the instruction. Every one of you standing. Because every single one of you will be made whole. Every single one. With no exception. Every single one. I saw him. I know what I saw. You are going to lay your hands where that pain is biting most. If you don't know where, you can lay it on your head. And we can't want to hit. And you will be removing it and be giving it to Jesus. Just picture imaginary Jesus and give him your pain today. I see somebody with affliction on the chest. That chest pain is going. As I'm counting, you are removing. Somebody is having a banging headache. I don't know how to describe it. You can idly concentrate. But the Lord is removing it right now. So I'm going to count from one to eight. You will remove it and give it to Jesus. You will remove it. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden. I will give you rest. So when I say one, you remove it. And give it to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Jesus. One. Two. This fellow, it is cobwebs that is being removed from your body right now. Just as if, as if they throw a net. That's the way you normally feel cobweb. Three. As a lady with affliction on the on the on the breast, the two breasts, with excruciating pain, lumps, and all kind of negative sensation that is arrested right now. Four. Give it to Jesus. Five. Six. Seven. This is the last one. Eight. Lift your hands and give him thanks. Just give him thanks. 
Just give him thanks. Give him thanks. Appreciate him. Appreciate him for your healing. Appreciate him. Give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands down. Okay? If you want to give him a clap offering, go ahead and do that. No sin. Now, thank you, Jesus. Now, do what you could not do that you normally feel that pain. Do it right now. Stretch that leg. Raise that hand. Extend your chest. Bend over. Bend over. Bend over. Shake that head where that was aching you. Turn your waist. Turn yourself. That's right. Turn the neck. Turn the neck. Up, down, left, right, center. Turn the neck. Extend the chest. Check the breast. The breast lump. Check it. Check the breast. The affliction in the tummy. The waist pain. The hip. Check it. Exercise yourself. And do what you could not do before now. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you that you did what you could not do before now and you can't feel pain, lift your hands to Jesus, your right hand, and wave it to me. Give him all the right hand. Wave it to him. Give, wave it to him. Wave it to him. Cameraman should always know where to look. Get a serious person. Wave your right hand to him. Jesus touch you and he heal you. Now step forward to the altar quickly. I serve a God Very quickly. Quickly come. The same number of healing just in a moment. Somebody stand to your feet, lift up your voice, say, my father, my father, say, my father, my father, every problem that enter into this program with me shall not finish this program with me. Hear the word of the Lord, aspire every problem, every challenge, every affliction that enter into this program with me shall not finish the program with me. Aspire, aspire, aspire. Aspire. Somebody pray with all your heart. Pray with all your heart. Aspire. Aspire. Mashatala da bariyadada. Eshala gada gadosha. Ele bariyata. E kapanosa. E peroto. Eshala gadosha. E katosa. E rosa. E perreta. E kena katosada. Eshala gadosha. Imparuata. Every problem that enter into the program with me aspire 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 in jesus name we pray i decree and declare every challenge that enter into this program with you aspire now aspire now and aspire now please take your seat what just happened man? what just happened yes what what did you come with i was feeling west pain Pain. Yes, sir. For how long has that been? This thing is not talking. You kept on I putting did. I put my own. Actually, I wake up this morning. I was having pain. Too. Pain where? 
at the back. Yes, sir. And now pain is gone. Yes, sir. Now in the name that is above every other name, every problem that anyone woke up with today has just disappeared. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. what just happened? Sir, this brother um, Moses. Sir. Okay. Special. Moses Victor said came to this church with stomach ache for more than two months. More than two months stomach ache. He's relieved and no more pain again. No, no more pain again in that. Now press that tummy. Can't feel it anymore. Can't feel the pain anymore. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Yes. He said his name is brother Emeka. He has been feeling pain in his left eye for four days now. But okay. at the instant of the world, the pain is no more. But the pain is gone. Yes. What about that? As a... Come, come, come. That's right. Two years chest pain and breast pain just disappeared. And you came to church with it. And it's been there for two years. Tell me what happened. How has it affected you? Two years. You just woke up and you... Yes. Sometimes it's just I don't know how it comes that it started. So But it's been two years. Yes. And every time it will be aching me and aching. Yes. And I came to church today with it. I was with. feeling it and I was even feeling weak of body because of it. You were feeling weak because of it. Yes, and my chest me I went to the hospital. They say okay, you have gone to the hospital because of this thing. Yes, they say it's ulcer that is causing that. But for the breast, there is nothing that they tell me. It's only for the ulcer. Did they do the test for the uh, for the breast? No. Did you complain about the breast to them? I complain about it. But what? They didn't do anything about it. They did not do anything about it. They just say that maybe there's nothing there. They say they just ignore everything. And Last month I was in the hospital because of the same complain but they did not give me anything they would just give me tablets to take and that's all that's how it has been doing and you came to church with it yes and breast pain chest pain of two years yes. expire somebody make a shout of victory yes. two years arrows of pain disappear yes sir this is brother isaiah Ebu. he said he came here with a inability to bend his left leg because of an accident he had over 15 years ago said he all efforts to bend that the, leg, the left leg the left leg but say that this this now. side yes sir okay you couldn't do this yes. for two years it's more 15, than years, it's more than 15 years 15 years i can't remember the year again, eh? remember the year again but so and years. you had an accident then yes yes wow and since that time you couldn't bend it now bend and let's see 15 years affliction expire. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Father, thank you for all this lorry load of testimony. Anyone have a striking something there? It disappeared immediately. I like your grammar. Say it again. <laughs> Yeah, you, you couldn't do this before now. As possible. You, you do what? I don't use the leg as normal. But now I can shake it. I can do everything. I believe it has gone away. And it's been there for how long? Yes. The worst pain that has been my problem for years. You know, I came to Abuja as a car washer, so it has been as if the You came to Abuja as what? A, a car washer. And okay. It has been as if the car wash has become the problem to the lady because it's a hard work. But then, it wasn't like... So that. when a person wash car, you should have back a car wash. So it has gone. That's right. Gone. Give Jesus Christ a clap of rain. <laughs> if everybody washing car has paid, nobody will be washing car again. This pain is an affliction. You know, somebody, he stood up in his office and he felt, oh, he said, it's because I've been, I've been sitting for long. Should you be standing? Don't give excuse for your pain. Every affliction that came to church with you disappear right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, just give me one or two more. I want to pray for all of them. Sir, this is a brother Odi. So for five years, he has been having challenges with his two legs that he couldn't bend, he couldn't bend it, he couldn't squat. But after the prayer, he just discovered that he can do all that after five years. After five years, can you squat? Let's see. That's right. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. In the name that is above every other name, every pain in any area of your life disappear right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you for this testimony. Thank you for this encounter. Thank you because it is permanent. Affliction will never return. In the name of Jesus. I pray for all of you that your healing is permanent. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. You can return. The rest of you, you'll be called upon when to share your testimony. Shall we stand as you take this prayer? Tonight is the night of deliverance from delay. Every good thing that's supposed to have happened, that has not happened, from tonight it shall begin to happen. It shall begin to happen. It shall begin to happen. In the name of Jesus, say my father, my God. 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 I issue a quick notice to every yoke and spirit of delay in my life. Your time is up. On your mark, say, go. You are going today. 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 Masata la da barriata, esha la gadogadosha, imparida, esha la gadosh, ali kapada, eporato, esha la gadosh, apariata, eshe ketos, apariata, esha la gadosha, eketas, etoriata, imbariata, esha la dosha, in Jesus, mighty name we pray. Spirit of the living God, we have made up our mind that anything that has to do with delay, we are going to be rescued from it tonight. Lord, we ask that nobody will be left out. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Can you shout it three times? Give Jesus Christ a clap. Have you said it three times? Uh, you better say it three times. <laughs> Let it be three times. Is that okay? Please sit down. It's very, very important to they say one man should shoot arrow. He shot one or two. He stayed. He said, who asked you to stay? Always try to complete it. Now, Micah chapter 2 verse 10. New dawn part 2. Breaking the yoke of delay. New dawn part 2. Breaking the yoke of delay. No noise, please. No, 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 no distraction. Breaking the yoke of delay. New dawn, part two, breaking the yoke of delay. Micah chapter two, verse 10. Tonight, we want to send the spirit of delay packing and establish speed in the journey of our life. Arise ye and depart until there is a departure, there is no future. For this is not your rest, your best, your destiny, your end, because it is polluted, it shall destroy 
even with a sore destruction. Three fundamental things very quickly in that passage. Number one, when there is delay, there will be pollution. Destiny will be polluted. Career will be polluted. Glory will be polluted. Is polluted. There will be pollution. There will be decadence. Number two, when there is a delay, it looks like a cause. And number three is destruction. The end of delay that is not arrested brings destruction. When a young lady is delayed unnecessarily and she continues to do her period and all that and all that, a time will come. All the things that can make for fruit of womb has been, the time has gone. So there is a dis except divine intervention which God can always bypass all that. Delay bring pollution. It bring causes. It bring destruction. New dawn part two, breaking the yoke of delay. To have new dawn, you must deal with delay. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. To have new dawn, for a new chapter to open, you must break the level where you are and break into next. Remember ye not the former thing. Close the old chapter. Neither consider the things of old. Why? And we do a new thing. Nobody experienced the new without getting out of the old. Does that make sense? Nobody experienced the new. And behold, we not want to let go. So you have to break out from me. You have to break free from me. You have to break through from it. I will do a new thing. So, take note very quickly. Number one, to have a new dawn, you must break the yoke of delay. Every time, you need something new to happen. What you need to do is to break the former. Nobody can put new wine in an old bottle. It has something has to go for something to come. Number two, delay is terrible. That's the second thing I want you to know. It's terrible. Why? Because it makes people to exist in average, in mediocrity. This is not your best. This is not your rest. Delay is terrible because it is a pollution. Delay brings corruption. The elder says, if you stay long in the restroom, all kind of flies will meet you there. There is one they call a senior day. What's the interpretation? <laughs> it's a green fly. All kind of flies. Hear this. You will know you have been delayed when you are seeing some insult. Insult. People that are not supposed to talk to you are not talking down on you. It's a sign of delay. So he said it's a pollution in the name that is above every other name. Every insult and mockery over your life, it shall be wiped away tonight. The name of Jesus. Insult that you don't deserve. Your junior, I, I told you a story. One of our uh, uh, members in those days in Women's Center told me a story. When I went to dedicate an office for him, he was just promoted. And somebody, one of the people that they were working together, is also a, a, became a director. He, this guy was, whether deputy director or assistant director. But the other guy told me, he said, look, the budget of, of the office, of his office, is more than a state. The budget of a state. One, it's one of the powerful institutions. He says, sir, why this promotion is important to me is, the guy that we enter the service the same time, 
became a director before me. And one day, one of his colleagues came to my office as assistant director, and the, the, the friend was a director, so we were discussing. He was in front of me, and we were discussing. And suddenly, this other guy that we came in together, who became director, entered my office and said, oh, how are you? I know that and you can excuse us. The director wants to talk. He said, sir, this is, this is, it was my, inside my office. He said, but in our service, you have to, you, you know, you must respect senior. He said, I have to excuse them. He said, it was insult upon injury. He said, he said, the director want to talk as you excuse them. When there is delay, there will be insult. There will be mockery. It's, it's a signal that there is a delay. Then he said destruction. Then number three is that when there is delay, Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12, Proverbs 13 12, he said hope delay defer, make the heart sick, but when desire come, it is a tree of life. When there is delay, there will be depression and frustration. Woman being, there is a part of emotion in the part in the life of every woman being. When you see your mate moving and you are not moving, no matter how you try to fake it, how you try to, there, 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 there is an emotional aspect of it. He said, hope defer, make it the are sick. Some people's sickness is not medical, it's emotional, it's delayed. What should have happened that has not happened? Brings depression. Make people to lose their joy. And that's why he said, hope that comes to pass makes you exciting. You are always exciting. You are always exciting. You are excited about it because your hope comes to pass. Life is meant to be dynamic, not to be static. If it's going to be dynamic, continuous progress is inevitable. Can I hear your amen? When you are moving, things are working for you. You see yourself, you are bubbling with life. That's why when people retire at 60 and they have nothing doing and they go back to feel it, they dilapidate and deteriorate within time. Because there is no engagement. Now, very quickly... 15 prophetic word that will pray tonight. We'll look at the example of someone who was delayed in the journey of life. And the reason behind his delay and how he got out. We want to learn from his life. 15 lessons from the life of one that has been delayed. John chapter 5 verse 1 to 11 is the story of a man that was sick for 38 years. He was sick before Jesus was born. Jesus died at 33 and a half. This guy was sick for 38 years. And he was on the same spot for 38 years. For every destiny that has not been moving, that has not been progressing. This night, the Lord will propel your destiny to the next level. Number one lesson that we saw, John chapter 5, verse 1 to 3. The Bible said there was a feast of the Jew, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem because of the celebration that was to take place. In the same Jerusalem, there were other people and there were people that were not part of that celebration. Why were they not part of the celebration? Because they were delayed somewhere. Number one, when it's time for celebration, for most people around your age and you are not celebrating, you need to break the yoke of delay. Just give everybody resort and they are rejoicing. And you are not you are not part of it. When celebration is taking place and it's not your turn, it looks like 
It has never been your turn. You have attended people's celebration. But really, have they come to celebrate with you? But here it is. This is now your turn to celebrate. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. When others are celebrating and you don't celebrate, when others are having party and you have never had party, something because when progress happens, parties happen. You are appointed, you are promoted, one thing or the other. There are many people, the word congratulation is very, very real to them. The word congratulations. They can't remember when last anybody said congratulations to them. Get ready. After tonight, it will be everyday congratulations. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. A lady was provoked like that. She went to her neighbor, invited her neighbor for burial. And the neighbor said, ah, what is the problem of your family? Is the only burial they celebrate in your own family? Because within that year, they have done about five burial. And the oldest was now up to 50 years. That was when her brain picked up. She carried her invitation and went back to her room. And there, there, there were five sisters. Nobody has ever married. She was provoked and had an encounter with God. Within six months or so, three of the sisters got married. When anybody insults you, don't fight them. They only provoke you for a change. When others are celebrating and you are not celebrating, there is a delay. They gave admission to others. They didn't give you. There is a delay. They promoted order. You are not promoted. There is a delay. Number two, John chapter five, verse two. When disgrace seems to have overshadowed the grace of God in your life, there is a delay. Now there was in Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches. That five porches mean five doors of grace. There are 12 gates that enter the, 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 the city. Each gate has their name. This is gate number five. It's the gate of grace. But in front of that gate of grace was a disgrace of a man for 38 years. What is called when a life look controversial, how can you be beside the beautiful gate and your life is not beautiful? Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. When you are where things are happening and it's not happening to you, I heard of somebody who was working filler for almost 20 years. Seeing all the president, all kind of things at a close range. But what as a state of begging. When you are where it's happening and it's not happening, there is a yoke of delay. That must be broken. If some people show you the contact of the people that they have, you'll be afraid. I don't know whether that, that, that young man has come to church today. He's one of our, in one of our department. One day he came to me and he said, look, I know this governor. I know, daddy, you need to pray for me. I know this God. I know this God. I know this I can die their number. But do you know those contacts, he never brought anything to his life until he had an encounter with God in this place. And the story of his life changed. I was sharing a testimony of something coming about a billion or something the other day. When you, when grace, when disgrace seems to have overshadowed, when disgrace seems to have overshadowed your grace, opportunities that you have, but it's not there. It's not counting for you. From today, everything around you that's supposed to count for you will begin to count for you. 
Can I hear your better amen? amen? Number three. In this lay a great multitude. John chapter 5 verse 3. Of impotent folk. Of blind. Hot. Wither. Waiting for the moving of the water. When you and everyone around you have one problem or the other and no one can help another, you need to break the yoke of delay. When you or people around you have problem and nobody can help each other, you just imagine this man as he sat in that place. The person beside him is either blind or lame. Everybody is just one thing or the other. You see sibling, seven children of the same mother, the same father. There is no one that carry weight. Everybody is just at the same level like puppy. Nobody can do anything. There is a need to break the yoke of delay. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. These are the horns that has not allowed them to lift up their head. When there are horns of the wicked, it makes everybody to seem to be at the same level. When you have five friends that are poor, that's not five poor people. You, did, you need to count where. Well. There are six people that are poor. Even if you are the only one that looks to be a little bit okay. A, a, a man was going for the burial of his mother. The other day, a great man. Um, very, very at the top in the glow of his. But we got talking then he came around. And um, I mean, he was up, up there. And he came around. He said, please pray for me. He said, you know, when... When you are the only one that has eye, and one eye, in the city of the blind. <laughs> I, I'm quoting him exactly. He said, in the city of the blind, you will become their king now. <laughs> you become their king now. He says, oh, please, I need prayer as I'm going. You know all these people? Because I'm the one that seems to have the, um, the wonderful house in the village and all that. And they just thought that, uh, you know, he said so. He said so. He was just trying to explain to me that when you talk about greatness, at least where I came from, I am. So he said, but humanly speaking, I know where God wants to take me. Here it is. Every problem that surrounds you and people with problems that surround you, solution is coming tonight. Number four, when you are permanent. In the school of waiting. John 5, 3. Waiting for the moving of the water. Not wait. You can tell somebody, wait for me. But when wait has turned to waiting. Present continuous. Waiting. You can wait, but stop waiting. Waiting is to be on God. Waiting that is not on God, we turn to waste. So, every unnecessarily waiting shall be scattered tonight. Waiting for the moving of the water. Waiting. When you wait unnecessarily, time goes. Many things goes. Number five. I'm rushing it now. John chapter five, verse four. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool. Number five. You need to deal with yoke of delay when you always miss your season. Time and opportunities. When you always miss your season. Time and opportunity. John chapter 5, verse 4. Angels goes there at a certain season to trouble the water. I don't have time to preach it. I wish I have time to preach it. But to me, this is one of the very powerful key. You see, there are no too many seasons in life. 
when it comes to time and season, there is normal timing, chronological timing. That is time 1, uh, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 2 p.m. But there is appointed time. There is no mark time in counting, but there is a set time. Psalm 102, verse 13. There is a set time. When you miss your set time, some of those set time or the opportunity, because time and opportunity, they are used interchangeably. It may take another 10 years, another 15 years, another, you know, it's like the secondary school. Or even I institution, there is this CA continuous assessment. You can fail one or two exams, but and then you know continuous assessment. But there is this exam that you take. Maybe um, I don't know the name they call the um, the one they take in year three now to move to the next class. You know, that's not junior WAEG or junior whatever. That's not. Ordinary exam. When anybody failed that exam, he need to wait for another season. When anybody failed Waek, he need to wait for another season. And in the journey of life, you don't have too many seasons. There are about only four of them. There is morning time. There is afternoon season. There is evening. And there is night. For each of this season, opportunity for the new dawn will come that you can leverage upon. To miss it is to miss critical moment. That's why it's important the meeting of tomorrow is going to be for restoration. Tonight is for deliverance. But tomorrow is going to... So that's why advantages, the, the supernatural advantages like... Uh, favor or restoration now coming so that the season that has been lost can be restored. I was watching um, the documentary many, many years of people 100, 100 years above. They were interviewing them. I think one time I showed it in prayer and shame women's center to some people that came to pray with me in the night. In the United Kingdom, they just selected about 10 of them or about 15 of them that were at age 100. But there was one particular man that his own interview in, he, he attracted me so much. You know, Oyimbo doesn't know how to pretend. So they were celebrating the man. Oh, you are now 100. You know, and all that. And then he just carried what he said. He said, yes. He said, but I wasted time. <laughs> that was what caught me. He said, I wasted, I wasted my years. He said, I wish I know. He said, I wasted my year. I have lost time. If I knew it would come, I would have shown you just his own aspect. He said, I've wasted time. I've wasted years. He said, my pain and my regret now is that I've wasted time. You know, most of our elders, their challenge is time. There is no time. But for the youth, the challenge is, you know, the elders have so much to do. But there is no time. For the youth, they don't have much to do. And there is fala fala time. If I saw in time, you hear some of them, let's hang out to kill time. You are not killing time. You are killing destiny. You are not. So you say, oh, let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go and watch movie. Watch movie. We do this. Do this. Time. Is life. Life is time. So your season, when you miss the season, delay will set in. When you miss the, every opportunity you have lost in the name of Jesus, there's going to be restoration. There's going to be restoration. Number six. Time. When always time. Number six. John chapter 5, verse 5. When your problem has swallowed your identity. John chapter 5, verse 5. And a certain man was there. One thing you know about the Israelites is that they like names. 
the name of their father and their own name. This man has been delayed so much that his name has been forgotten. A certain man was there when the problem has swallowed your identity. You don't know that person, that person who had this problem. People describe people with their problem. You have name that parents give you, but there are names situation can give you. Today, such identity shall be removed. In many, many years, in Lagelu Grammar School, we, when we got to uh, um, the second year or third year, we met someone that has um, entered into secondary school three years and four years ahead of us. His name was Taiwo Ara. Ara is his uh, AKA, AKA, also known for it. He was a very big, you know those. So we met him. And funnily enough, his younger brother was in our set. And um, nobody could know his name again. We just call him, in fact, we call him Babara, you know, because he was ahead of us and he had a big body. Even though we were in the same class, nobody dear him. He's the only student that entered through the window. And when he comes in, everybody keeps silence. You know, at the time I was appointed as a class uh, something, a rep or whatever, that, um, you know, and then one teacher had been coming and asking, where is this boy? Where is he? And one day he said, when he come, bring him to me. I said, yeah, I will bring, I will. <laughs> if you want to punish me, punish me, but not that uh, no, 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 I can't even look at his face. <laughs> you know those boys that go inside the booth and smoke and just do anything? In fact, I think it was during our set, one thing or the other, that he beat the principal. That was the end of his school. <laughs> that was the end. That was the end. Many, many years that I will see him back somewhere, you know, he has become, you know, not furniture maker, carpenter. Life was a wreck. He came from a wealthy family, but his problem has swallowed his identity. I think his younger brother that was said became a doctor or something or something. I decree and declare Every problem that has swallowed your identity in the name that is above every other name, the problem expire. Amen. Number seven, when years are going and years are counting but no change, you need to break the yoke of delay. John chapter 5 verse 5. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. 38 years are going, but there is no change. You need to break the yoke of delay. Years are going. Do you know that uh, from COVID time till now, now it has become four years. Are you aware? It has become four years. It has become four years. It has become four years. You see how year rolls by. How year rolls by. When Years are counting, but there is no change. There is a need to break the yoke of delay. Number eight, John chapter five, verse five to four. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. And when Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been there for a long time in the case, he said unto him, Without be made all. Number eight, when the people that were behind you are now with you on the same level or gone ahead of you, you need to break the yoke tonight. Some people met this guy there. They left him there. Some met him. Junior now met him. Just like the example of the, the uh, meet that I gave. They meet you on the same. One of us was just promoted of recent. I like what he said. 
I think we'll listen to the testimony later. He said, I, when this promotion was coming, I said, oh God, am I going to serve my mate again? He said to me, there was somebody that was promoted at the time. We were together in the University of Ibadan. And I was saying sir to him. He said, the thing was coming again. I said, oh God. I think it was one of the Fiji. He said, I, pray. I said, oh God, will I serve? Of course, he's big in his own nature. He's doing well. I'm talking about whatever. But in that organization, these are the things that deceive some of us sometimes. You look at one area of your life and just say, oh, since this one is there. Mm -mm. Every area, you must make progress. He said, ah, am I going to serve my mate again? And something just happened. Even the boss doesn't want to give him. But something, please believe in the hand of God. Please believe that things can change. I want to decree for everyone that your junior has caught up with you and they have gone ahead of you in the name that is above every other name. Something will happen tonight. And we give you total victory. I think in the military, they understand it better. Because in the military, if your junior is promoted above you, automatically, I, I, I'm not sure whether they, uh, it is written down as their constitution, but somehow, you see them just retire. <laughs> they, they, you know, they don't need to tell them. You know, I will still get the detail from the general later. No. But I, I have seen it over the years. You just see them. Because he said, will I salute? So they, that's why you... And then they normally have this cosmate. You know, they say, it's my cosmate. This one is my cosmate. So they have the way they reach out to each other. So that's why the issue of promotion is important to them. One time, one came in, woman center, then he said, sir, now I understand what you are saying. Please pray for me. I need promotion. Why? Last year, the chief, the chief, one of the chiefs, carried the name of Susutu person to the presidency. And by the time the list will come out, every other person was promoted, but the person the chief carried was not promoted. He said, now I know it's God that promotes. It's also a general today. I remember when when the TK we called, he said, "Please pray over the phone and dedicate this office for me." He stayed there in service, in the name that is above every other name, everyone under the sound of my voice, that your junior has caught up with you and they have left you behind. There shall be divine intervention tonight, whether in resources, whether in any area of life. There shall be divine intervention. Number nine, when you have stopped making effort for progress because of certain failure of the past or previous mistakes, you need to pray to break delay tonight. John 5, 6. The man was lying down. He has accepted destiny. You know, when you have attempted promotion many times, and then if it doesn't happen, you know what, what people normally do? They just relax. Mm. I was talking to somebody in UK the other day. I was talking about marriage. Uh, Pastor Muti, I've accepted. I said, at what age? I think it should be around 32 or 30 something. No, 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 no. When people have accepted faith, F a T E. When it comes to progress, I say, mm. they have thrown in the tower. You need to break it. It's a dangerous state to be. You need to break it. When it has become like, mm, there is nothing that I do, they, 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 they can't promote me. It's a dangerous state to be. No. You remember the story of the man that um, we pray for. And then at a time, he, he was promoted to a particular office, I think to Cornell or something then. And then when he was to resume, they now posted him to Ibadan. And he came and said, look, I'm, I, I, it's no longer the headquarter, whatever that I told you, I've been posted to Ibadan. I said, no, that's not what goes there. He said, pastor, that's not the way it works in our house. We only need signal. 
He said, no. I said, what's the problem? And they said there was one guy who is the cousin of the Maradona. Maradona, I won't tell you the detail. He's a, he's a candidate of Maradona. There is, there is ex-president, they call Maradona. And then, so that's the guy that will resume there. He said, no, God didn't tell me. He said, it's okay. One month after the thing was changed, the candidate of Maradona was moved out and the candidate of God was put there. I went to dedicate that office. When we got inside the drawer, you see alligator pepper, all kind of charm inside the drawer of an officer. In the name that is above every other name, anyone that has taken your place, where you should be, they have used one thing or the other to put somebody else there. The Lord will intervene for you tonight. Don't lie down there and say nothing can change. Many things can change. In fact, at the time, this man retired and he has not become what God told us he was going to become. He still came and said, oh, it, uh, mm. God still brought him back until he became what God said. That thing, I remember, 2011 was when I met him. And, and then God said all the things he was going to become. He became everything before he retired. He retired two times. He first of all retired him, God brought him back. In the name that is above every other name. Everything that is in the script of your destiny that you must fulfill from tonight, you will get there. Amen. Number 10, when you have overstay on a level or with a problem, Jesus saw that he was there for a long time. Hear this, for every challenge of your life, there is an allocated time. You can't keep solving the same thing over and over again. Jesus knew he has been there a long time. Hear this? Problem is part of life. And it happened, you solve it, you move on. It happened, you solve it, you move on. But when things happen and you can't solve it, you stay there. You stay at that level. It's like passing exam in the school. When you pass this exam, you move to the next. You pass this exam, you move to the next. You pass this exam, you move to the next. But if you don't pass it, you stay there. One of the testimonies in the prayer machine tonight, uh, or in 12 midnight, you hear the testimony of someone, powerful testimony, who has been failing exam, and then suddenly the word came, and she passed. So any problem of life that you have overstayed with, whether marital problem, that you stay there, you need to break out of it. Then the new down will happen. Can I hear your amen? And 11, when you have, I was one that friend from I said, this person talking is 50 years old though. He said, if my father were to send me to school, you know, I would not have been at this level. It was because my mother died early. It was because this, it was because that. Hear this. There are people who didn't have the opportunity you have and they rose. Some didn't even know their father. They didn't know their mother and they became something. Hear this. There is no excuse that is powerful enough to make you to face delay. Do you want to be made old? Simple answer, yes. This is the man that will make you old. But you see, mm, there is challenge in our nation, in these mm -mm. excuses are the nails that they use to build the house of failure. You will not be a failure. You will not be a failure. Hear this. Whatever you accommodate you cannot change. You cannot change. Stop giving excuses. No. No tenable excuse for failure. Ask anybody. The easiest thing to do is to give excuse. Oh, they don't like my face. Not everybody, they like their face. No. It's because I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. Where is Okonjo Iweala? Is he a man? Even opposing administration. I saw the other day when Joe Biden, the president of America, was taking selfie with this man, with this woman. Took his own phone and was taking selfie. Every female under the sound of my voice, your rising has started. You will get there. You will get there. Number 12. 
when you lack a pass of destiny in the journey of life, delay. John chapter 5 verse 7, I have no man when the water is troubled. Those who surround you determine what you can survive. When devil want to delay you, it takes away quality people from around your life. Number 13, when you don't take responsibility for your progress, you allow life to happen to you, not you happen to life. Even though you have no man, begin to make effort yourself to touch man. Let me tell you, the reason why many people lack no man, they solve no problem for no man. The secret for having men is to solve their problem. Not your problem. The secret of having men. Focus on helping them. Now, okay, you have no man. Nobody is there to put me into the water. Lack of responsibility. You have been here all along. Nobody is carrying you. Even if you come on, begin to roll. Begin to roll, roll, roll. And put your leg beside the, beside the swimming pool of, of the miracle. So that when the angel is coming next year, an angel came and said, Hey, hey, brother, who first came? You say, Angel, hey, Rinan, can't you see? Angel, can't you see? Trouble my leg with the water. Before the troubling will come the next year, you miss it last year. Put your leg there this year. When angel come, he can trouble your leg. Uh, so you don't need to be running. You're already there. Has it surprised you? When some people will be at the garage, the area boys, 10 years, 15 years, their life still doing it. Oh, race me 2K, race me 3K, race me 4K. You are doing that 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. They are still there. Because they solve no problem for no one. There is nobody that his life cannot change. By the time you are living in face me and face you, and you are not doing anything, you have time, you have energy, you have strength. Anytime they want to do, they say, oh, who will help us to go and pay our neighbor? Volunteer. Oh, okay, I'm, 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 not, I'm not doing anything. I'll go and pay. Oh, who will help us to organize the people that will carry the dustbin? I'm around. I will help. I will, I will organize. I will pay for it. You people contribute, I will pay. When you are doing all that, one person will come one day, this man that has been helping us, what can you do? Well, you see people, I don't have job, I don't have job, I don't have job. Give yourself job. I left school at the time, and there was no job. But I see these children when they came back from school, their parents have gone to market, baggy, uh, all these uh, our market there. By then they come in the night, the children have gone to play. So I called the parent in face me on Facebook. Say, all these your children. I can be teaching them, you know, lesson when they come back from school. So I started teaching them lesson. And their parent, when they are going out, they prepare my breakfast, they prepare the lunch. And our people say, when hunger is removed out of poverty, That was what I was doing until something to do came. Until something to do came. One time, one I pastor one church in, in Lube in those days, and among the ministers, there was this guy there who has under, under two doors. And then every now and then we finish up. He was like the Mechisedek of the church. Because once we finish up, he said, no, I don't, have, I don't have money. He's the one who will give the offering to. He said, it won't make you say We just help him, help him. And one day I said, bro, this is your honor. You can be going to airport and come back. He said, pastor, me, taxi driver. Me, taxi driver. I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So how do you expect me to be doing taxi driver? A minister. A minister about to low law. You don't have money. Life is not about title. Life is not about status. It's about value. 
I said, Brother Fallo, is that me? He said, no, 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 no. I can't, be, I, I, I can't be doing that. The church is paying your house rent, paying this, paying that. And you, you are just as if you are in a breeding, a breeding ground. Because every year, they do name in his house. Because when you don't have job, you must use your energy somewhere. Just producing. I remember very well, it was the minister that was fighting people on the day of the naming of my second son and Carrie Potter because they didn't give him pandediam. I mean, I saw you. He said, no, 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 how can I be doing taxi driver? I said, it's not taxi driver. You just go to airport, bring people that are coming. He, just, he said, no, no, that's taxi driver. It, it wasn't the day of Uber like this, oh. Sir, no trace today. No trace. Take responsibility for your life. If you have no man, solve problem for men. Men will look for you. People are not looking for liability. They are looking for people that will help them do something. If you can do something, do something. Can I hear your amen? Number what now? Just two more. Number 14. When people take your slot and your place, you break the yoke of delay. John 5, 7. John 5, 7. And number 15, when what can happen early is always postponed. Can you imagine this man that has stayed here 38 years? By the time Jesus came, look at verse 9. And immediately, the man was made all. Immediately. Sir, that thing can happen today. That thing can happen this year. That thing can happen right now. This is the way I live my life. If I give people assignment and they say, when do you want it back? I want it back yesterday. I want it back. That is, before I give you, I'm already expecting the result. So that, finish that one, move out of it. Finish that one, move out of it. It can happen immediately. It can happen today. It can happen right now. And it will happen. What's the secret of breaking delay? Number one, knowledge. That you have to know and realize you have been delayed too long. And you need to break it. No excuse. No pretense. John chapter 5 verse 6. You have been delayed. Number two, be determined that you need to break it once and for all. Be determined. You need to break it once and for all. Make up your mind. Number three, take responsibility. What does it mean? Give it all it takes so that it will give you all it contains. Take responsibility. One woman came, I think it was around this time last year, and said, sir, I'm not asking you for money to eat or whatever. Give me 10,000 and I will be frying, what's the, this, a bakery? Plantain chips. And I will come and return it back to you. I said, follow me. As I was going out, of the, I said, follow me. And then I was given money. He came back two months or so and brought about five or ten in the nylon. He said, I've started the business. I may not be able to pay back now, but I have gain of two thousand or three thousand. But I brought this one for you as my prophet seed. Now, he could not afford to give two months ago. Now, he's giving something. Oh, and I said, fine. I collected it. I gave it to one of the people following me. And then I asked her to follow me. Give her some money more. From that time, if you see what this woman has turned the money to, it's something else. 10,000 naira. She owned her own business. Now, now she told me the other day or so, maybe she will add two people now that are helping her fry, and then maybe two people helping her to go and say, those ones too, they are eating out of it, and something starts. It may not look big to you, but at our level, that's our own level. At our level. At our level. At our own level. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. To get out of that thing, and then encounter 
with Jesus. Encounter with Jesus. And then waiting in the place of prayer. It is my prayer that everyone under the sound of my voice, you are coming out of delay. The woman that was testifying that got her children after nine years, she was making effort. IVF, this one, this one. But God saw all that effort. And one time God broke. In fact, she was making effort. She wanted to go and adopt at the time. She wanted to do surrogacy. Don't just lie down there and be waiting for the moving of the water. If water didn't move, move the water. Stand to your feet. Move the water. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can clap better for him. Something must break tonight. 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 Must break tonight. You are breaking into the next level. In the name of Jesus. Will you lift your hands to Jesus in heaven. And say Father. Thank you. For the word you have sent to me. To you alone. Be all the glory. Go ahead and give him that time. Give him that time. Give him that thanks. Mashata la da bariata gadosha. Eleva riata da. Elema sada. Shelevenesa. Esheketosia. Eroto. Eshelegadegadegadosha. Elepa rosa. Eshegadash. Alepa riata da. Epa rosa. Eshelegadegadosha. Emma sata. Jeleva riata. Eshalagadosha. Erota da shada. In Jesus' name we pray. In the next two, three, four minutes, I want you to pray like you have never prayed and break out of this delay. God has assured me that by this time next year, the level where you are now, you will look back March next year and God has lifted you beyond normal. More than a thousand times. Hear this. Hear what I'm saying. This is prophetic. Look at your current level now, both home and abroad. And imagine it times 1,000. Because when God measure at once, he will measure a thousand. And the God of your father multiply you a thousand times more. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11. When he measure, he measure a thousand kubi. God is going to multiply you a thousand times. Are you ready to pray? Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. I am tired of this level. Break! Break out of it. I'm tired of this level. I'm tired of this level. Mashata la dabaria tagadagadosha. Eria katagadash. Eleva rosa. Eshalagada. Eleva riata. I'm tired of this level. 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 Shalada dosha. Erota. Eshalaga degadosha. Eparata. Eshalagada. Erosa. I'm tired of this level. I'm tired of this level. I'm tired of this level. Pray like warrior. Pray like warrior. Pray like warrior. I break out. 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 I most of our challenges are the people that surround us. Don't ever measure yourself with people that surround you if their level is not encouraging. You have to see from outside. Go and borrow vessels. Provoke yourself. Go and don't look at yourself and say, oh, anyway, I'm better than this. Who tell you to measure yourself with your sibling? Who tell you to measure yourself with your, with your feeling? This guy was surrounded by the folk, the sea, and all that. No, no, no. You see from the outside. You can't see from the inside. I told you, I was 19. And then, 
A pastor of my wife asked me, what are you doing? And I said, no, I want to ride my wife again. And no, no. I said, no problem. The time is still on my side. She looked at me and said, which time? Because that was 19. Because the people that surround me, for that, for that, for that, for that, for that this one, you know, in the, at 25, they are still in, the, you know, there's, and when you are somebody that is, just, so they, I didn't see it as delay. That a child of 19 should not have been in higher institution. 19, clothing here. Life has just started now. I thought, in fact, the word I used was, I'm still young. I'm still young. I'm still young. Time is going. Time is, nobody will ask you, how young are you? What will they ask you? That is, with all the masquerade. You are going. That's the war. That's the plain war. <laughs> you are going without the mask. It was Prince that was showing me. He said, You see this sander? I bought it before I got married. <laughs> he said, I told my son, said, You bought a new shoe? He said, No, I bought this shoe before I married your mother. <laughs> and this was how many years? Many, many years. He was, he was telling me before. <laughs> he, he was telling me, I want you to pray tonight, Lord. Every situation where I found myself, I hope you are not wearing the same shoe tonight. <laughs> this is how I bought it before I marry your mother. I want you to pray, Lord, every situation that I've taken time, every problem that I've taken time, this night I break out of it. This thing has taken enough of my time. This is the second to the last prayer. Every Look, this is what they call canker worm. Canker worm does not eat leaves. It eats years. It's caterpillar. Lift up your voice. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Every situation, every problem, swallowing my years without result, expire, expire, expire. Pray with all your heart. Swallow my ears without resolve. I command you to ask. Please pray tonight. I believe in prayer. Please pray tonight. I believe in prayer. Please pray tonight. I believe in prayer. I believe in prayer. Eshalagadosha, Ebariata, Eshada, Ebariata, Eshalagadosha, Ebarosa, Eshagada, Ariata, Eshadagadash, Eroto, Ayagadash, Agadash, Eroto, Eshaladosha, Ekadoshada, Eroto, in Jesus' name we pray. Finally, before I minister to you and pray for you, and then we just end, thank God, there is no communion tonight. Hear this. Whatever it is now that is depressing you, that's your delay. Whatever makes you to lose your joy, I can tell you categorically, that's your delay. That may, whenever you lose your joy, something supposed to have happened that has not happened. Secondly, whenever you are frustrated, something supposed to have happened and has not happened. I remember I went, I don't know whether it was my egg or jam, so right, and then I saw the, the mate of my, you know, some mate, some people that are mate of my, some of my junior. And then you see they are, ah, oh boy, I said, that old boy. <laughs> they thought, uh, you know, when you are writing it down with people that are young, and they, they wonder, oh, how I was, uh, uh, guys, which, when we were doing guy, where were you? <laughs> I was, I was annoyed with those, but, but you just didn't change it. We were all writing. We were all writing. They were not my mate. They were junior. I borrow me your barrel. Which barrel? Oh, mobile was latile. I was just angry with all of them. Because I was not supposed to be in their class. A situation of life has forced me there. So I was angry, but it doesn't change it. And then you hear, don't mind, don't mind the man. 
Just get angry with them. Whenever you are frustrated, something supposed to have happened that has not happened. And what you do is you turn your frustration to provoke you to the next level. Pain is a teacher. Frustration is a frustration is good though. It makes when you, when you don't face frustration, you have relaxed. They say, everybody, we have come to Shiloh. Anna, you to come and eat. They eating what? I'm not here to eat. I'm still coming to the next Shiloh. My Samuel must be with me. I'm not here to eat. She rose up. She was so frustrated that the priest was confused. The priest was coming with all the regalia, all the ringing. This woman didn't hear. But one thing is sure. After that year, she came with a Samuel. She had other six children. A barren woman has given birth to seven. This is the last prayer. Lord, every issue of frustration and depression in my life, turn it to my acceleration and my celebration. Turn it to my acceleration and my celebration. Turn it to my acceleration and my celebration. Everyone, we are not supposed to be in the same class. That the situation of life has forced me to be together in the same class. Father, take me to my own class. That's the last prayer. And I will pray for you. That's the last prayer. And I will pray for you. That's the last prayer. And I will pray for you. That's the last prayer. And I will pray for you. There must be a change. 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 Mashata la da barriata. Eshala gadagadosha. Abarreta. Eshala gadosha. Eroto. Eshada gada. Epariata. Eshada gadosha. Ariata da. Somebody pray with all your heart. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to give you two minutes to press that prayer. That's the major prayer tonight. Lord, I must leave this level. But while you are doing that, I want the altar to minister to this set of people. Because by this time next year, you will look at all of them and you will see them in their new status. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of wombs. This is your year. Everyone trusting God for miracle marriage. This is your year. You step forward to the altar and kneel around the area of the altar and be crying out to the Lord that you will stand on this altar next year with your children, with your this, with your whatever. Quickly come now. The rest will be praying and then I will make declaration, brutal declaration over them. You, you know, marital settlement, your own children, this altar, cry unto the Lord. People go ahead and be talking to the Lord. 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 Cry out your heart, whether you are before the altar or you are in the congregation. Whether you are before the altar or you are in the congregation. Cry your heart out unto the Lord. 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 Mashata la da barriata da gadosha. Eleva riata. I'm talking of between now and next year. Jagala gada gadosha. This settlement is this year. Ashala da barriata. Cry out your heart unto the Lord. Ariata ba. Eshelega da gadosha. Eroto. Eshelega da gadosha. One minute to go, everyone. One minute to go, everyone. Shalada barriatada. Eshalaga da gadosha. Arriatada. Eshalaga dosha. Impariata. Eshalaga dosha. Ikadash. Eroto. Eshaladosha. Arriatada. Eshalagesa. Eparosa. Eshada. I'm breaking to the next level. I'm breaking to the new level. I'm breaking to the higher level. I'm breaking to the next. I'm breaking to the next. I'm breaking to the nurse. 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 
I'm breaking to the next. I'm breaking to the next. I'm breaking to the next level. I'm breaking to the higher level. I'm breaking to the next. I'm breaking to the next level. I'm breaking to the higher level. I'm breaking it. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I'm breaking to the next. 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 I'm carrying my children. I'm having my marital settlement. I'm having my company. I'm having my next level. Ayana Shada Ariata in Jesus. My will pray. Just like that man said to me, I decree over you in the name of Jesus. In the name of you, you will no longer serve your maid again. From today, I decree over all of you trusting God for miracle children. Discovery and recovery conference of next year. You will attend it with your children. In the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for marital settlement. Next year conference. You will attend it with your spouses. In the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for promotion. Under two months. I decree and declare your promotion is established. Your promotion will manifest for everyone under the sound of my voice. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. From today, acceleration, acceleration, and acceleration. Say, I receive it. Say I embrace it. Say it is mine. Say I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap over it. It is done. It is done. Return to your seat. It is done. People take your seat. Except people that need their letter of promotion. Come and pick it on the altar. Letter of promotion. Letter of promotion. Come and pick it on the altar. Director PS award letter. You had that woman yesterday, how she picked her letter. She has picked letter two times on the altar. And those two times, it has answered. She said, we kept on picking, we kept on picking. I don't know what it means. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are returning with your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. I do two things and quickly pray for you. Everyone that needs to surrender to Jesus tonight. Become born again or rededicate your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, I want you to stand to your feet. I want to pray for you. Stand to your feet. I want to pray for you. You want to be born again tonight? You want to surrender your life to Jesus? Stand to your feet. I want to pray for you. Step forward to the altar and let me pray for you. While they are making their way, the rest of us, let's prepare our offering, our seed, our sacrifice, and let's honor the Lord. Pick up your offering, your seed, your sacrifice, and let's honor the Lord tonight. You need assistance of the ushers, you can signal to them. You need detail on the screen, they will make it available. Pick up your offering, your seed, and lift it up. Father, we declare over our seed tonight, by this seed, we begin to make financial progress. In the name of Jesus, all the titles, life will not be tight for you. Be established. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. The ushers will go around to collect our seed and just make declaration of it. Those of you in the front, you are welcome. This is the greatest decision that you can ever make. Lay your right hand on your chest and close your eyes as you pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today to hand over my life unto you. Please forgive me all my sins. 
Remove my names from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. I will serve you. I will follow you. I will do your will. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I pray for you today that the Lord cleanse you from all unrighteousness, establish you in salvation, make all things to be well with you. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Congratulations to all of you. Please this way and God bless you. God bless you. Tomorrow is going to be three major uh, sections. 6 a.m., 11 a.m., and 5.30 p.m. Tomorrow evening is for restoration. Whatever you have lost, whatever is missing, the Almighty God is going to restore to your life in the name of Jesus. Stand to your feet. I decree and declare as you go tonight, the Lord go with you. Be a you on ego swing. Even in your dream, there shall be an encounter. In the name of Jesus, the Lord turn your life around. Turn the situation around. No more delay in your life. In the name of Jesus, every dream of delay is over. And here it is, they will call you. They will greet you. They will congratulate you. So shall it be. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Today is your first time. Quickly rush to the altar and let's pray with you. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 2024, my year of new era. My year of new dawn. My year of higher dimensions. These are my portions. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell 12 people the Lord has done it for me. And God bless you. 12 midnight today is going to be an exciting time. Accelerated promotion. 12 midnight. 12 people, make sure you get 12. And God bless you. All of you that are coming for the first time, you are welcome. We're happy to see you and the Lord bless you. This is God City International Church. It's a place of deliverance. It's a place of rescue. It's a place of restoration. And it's a place of mobile fire. Your life.